should do one of these like the range after hours. Have oh, beverages yeah. and chicken wings. We did that. We did that in Shot Show. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we should after do after hours and before hours. We should do another like one. Stuff. Hey, we're on. By the way, there you are, just drinking your stuff. It's actually. It's actually Phil's look, stuff. Look, 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 look. I'm so excited. You know what this means, right? <laughs> pew pew. So Tula has this new stuff. Hi, everybody. It, it says range friendly. Okay, range friendly. It is is not all Tula ammo. It is some Tula ammo. The new now, stuff. I've been working on this for a while. I've been trying to chase and figure out a way to be able to shoot steel cased mm -hmm. here at the range um, since I got here. It's been one of my things because I love my mutant and my mutant loves steel case. AKs love steel case. Mm -hmm. um, so we have been chasing and this stuff has been the elusive. We finally got a line on it. We got Wartula. We'll be bringing this stuff in. So um, it is a non steel jacket. Hot, uh, regular lead core awesomeness and yes it does not stick to a magnet the projectile does not no that does <laughs> so don't think that you can come in and just you have you know one or two of these because it will still stick through a mag I already checked Vinny already checked we already did some checking and yes so we are still gonna catch you if you try and stick one or two of these on there thinking you're gonna slide by easiest way buy it from us we're going to have a, a bulk pricing on this stuff as well. Um, I mean, it's cheap. It's 40 rounds. 15 bucks. Yeah. 40 it's, rounds. So it's, it's much, much cheaper than a lot of other things, and it is way cheaper so than another, brass. So another, another thing happened that's going to... So I'm a big fan of AK, right? I, I've got... And i got a bunch of steel yeah. ammo yeah. because it's cheap and my guns like it. But I think it's important to also point out another thing happened here that's allowing us to do that, and yeah. that's the pits were filled. So we filled the pits in. So we're not collecting any of that green powder anymore. So yep. the fire hazard is greatly reduced. That's why we're okay with the steel case now. But the projectile still and has to be metal free. Yeah, and so this is, a, is not a bimetal. So the biggest issue with most ranges, not just us, but most ranges with the steel case is that the projectile itself has a steel jacket on over the top of the lead, and then it has this really thin copper jacket over the top yep. of that to, yep. so that it can be copper jacketed, because um, steel jackets, I guess, have been illegal. Yep. So we'll still test the danger. ammo. As long as a projectile is not taking a magnet, magnet, then it's good to go here. Yep, and easiest way is the range-friendly stuff. You can buy it from us, um, and like I said, we'll have Lots of bulk pricing and all that stuff, uh, and you'll see some of that in so the Red October match. Do we too. have any of that left? Because I think everybody here bought all the cases that we bought already. Uh, well, that might be a problem. Well, so I need to order some more when we're done. Yeah, I think okay. so. Because it works great. Um, so far, the mutant loves it, and our AK likes it. So what do you got there? Another one of the. The new exciting. Oh, stop. So. I gotta put it down. It says stop. Okay, I'll go. So, this is the IWI Masada. Um, 17 round mag, basically your standard Glock 17 MMP. Clear. Good to 9 millimeter thing. You can just take it off rather than. Look, now I still gotta take it off. That's why it said stop. Um, Cut for an optic on top. Uh, it does have polymer sights, which I don't know why they. But they're dovetailed. Out, but they are dovetailed. Um, it's got a really nice trigger in there. We are clear, guys. And then watch this trigger. Ooh. So you got a little bit of take up. Nice wall. Nice wall right there. Good break. And then there we go. And then watch that reset. Kind of long. Right back into it though. Um, I'll tell you what right, though. So it's a really nice feeling trigger. Uh, I like the overall. It points well. It's got the three dot sights similar to Smith & Wesson's favorite deal. And I like the location of the slide stop. It's not a stretch for it. So, so I'm not a slide stop user when I'm doing my reloads. But that one, if you are, that person, it's nice and oversized. You can really get to it. And it's Ambi. I like that a lot. I like, I like Ambi. Yep. And it can be used as a slide release, so it's yep. nice. Yep. 
Nice little gun. Mag releases Ambi. And it retails for like under 500 bucks, isn't it? Uh, yeah, way under. Yeah, under 500 bucks by a good margin. Um, with the optic cut, I, no they don't. They don't include, or no they do, oh look at that. And yep. they include, lots of plates and. Looks like they include that plus screws for the Delta Point, the RMR, and a Venom and Romeo. So you have all kinds of options there. So it doesn't take 7.62 by 3 nut. Yeah, you can. If you get it to go through there, we need to hang out. That'd be pretty neat. Looks good. No, let's see. It, it, it fits in a little bit. You notice it's got steel rails. The um, they didn't. If you notice on the frame, on the on the grip, um, the oh. steel frame is actually it's similar to like the, all the way through instead so of just of here and there. Like we're gonna kind of copy off of people. That looks very similar to the 320's internal yep. structure. A little bit, where a little bit. The, the gun itself um, is the internal component. And it does, I mean, doesn't appear, uh, it's different, but it's, it's You know what, It's it says IWI on it. I'm, gonna, I'm sure it's gonna be good. I'm yeah. gonna trust them. Absolutely. And it's got uh, multiple back straps, so if you need a, a bigger hand or a smaller hand, comes with the, the, the This is why small, you don't the large. The medium is on there. This is why you don't do stuff for the very first time on live TV. Because you break stuff. I do apparently. Look at you. Oh, did you notice that? Check that out. I don't know what we're looking at, guys. To reassemble? Yeah. Never mind. I fixed it. <laughs> I have no idea what we just witnessed there. So it has a tendency when you're, when you're reinstalling sure. the slide to ride up at an angle to the rear rail. You just have to make sure that it stays down and flush. Because when I was putting it back on, it was sliding up. But it's, so I mean, that's not a big deal. you got to pay attention when you're putting when you're stuff together. Things. Oh, we got Jeff in here. What's Jeff doing? Oh. Makeup. He just coming in real quick, just stealing stuff from the, from the shop. Hey, no Front slide serrations, really nice, rail. nice setup. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pick rail on the bottom, really sweet. Speaking of pick, pick, ra pick oh. rails. Yeah, we we said that. Oh, okay. Multiple okay. I was, I was there. playing with it. It comes with your own fancy little bicycle lock. Oh, look at that! I like it. Whole thing, all kinds of toys. Put that in there. There you go. So we'll have that one. Um, other new stuff, the new Hellcat, Springfield um, Armory. Um, so, do you prefer? I like calling it the Leapfrog. The, the Leap Day. <laughs> leap Year? Leap Year. That's what I came up with. The Leap Year. It's the 366. What? It's so, like the 365 did they... plus one. Okay, so 366. Yeah. So, you're saying that they kind of made a mold of the 365 and then put. St a stamp on it said made in Croatia. Well, I mean, don't forget they added the grip zone. Um, <laughs> I actually really me. do like what I'm seeing so far out of the thing. Um, I think the it gun, looks very similar to the new X365. Um, yep, it's, it's competing got an extended in that market beaver for sure. tail though on it, which I am a big fan of. So it's more similar to their new XL. Um, it's got a lot in common, I think, with the Mossberg MC1. Uh, yep. in the overall look and design. And I, I really, we all knew this was coming. Everybody's gonna be trying to catch up to that 365. Uh, Springfield has come out with a magazine that takes 11 rounds, which gives you the 11 plus one. So you're looking at 12 rounds in a carry gun that is really tiny. Um, Dustin was supposed to have one here. It hasn't come in yet, so. I, I want to see the today, gun. But, um, um, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. I, I, all jokes aside, yes, we're going to make fun of it because... Like, it's I mean, what we do. It, yeah, you kind of <laughs> have to. Um, but I really, like, it's 
cutting all the things that I really like in pistols. It's got a really nice set of, uh, of uh, sights on the top of them. Um, you rear, sights. You you rear with a Trigicon or, or yeah, a, the tritium 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 front, front sight. Yeah. Um, and I'm a big fan of that big bold front sight and I, that U notch. Amen. I think it's amen. just. I it like gives it. your eye a nice, easy place to settle everything. It's a natural it's find really, it. really, really. Yep. I, mean, I agree. I, I, so far, I really like their sights. Um, it's cut for an optic. I'm a big fan of that. It comes like in two versions. Optics. Um, one well, cut. Yeah, they, there's the one, one cut, cut and one non-cut. But the cut version is only like 30 bucks more than the non-cut. Yeah, so why super, not? super inexpensive. Why not just get that to begin um, with? Front slide serrations. Yep. Um, the non-optic cut has the rear serrations that go all the way up and over. Uh, not going to be a big deal for a lot of people, but for those that are worried about stuff like one-handed manipulations mm -hmm. or, uh, I mean, I don't want to get gory and stuff, but a lot of blood and guts and stuff. Yeah. Being well, just rain, rain, rain snow, mud. Yep. It should be a lot easier to, to rack that slide, yep. so that's nice. Flat trigger, I'm a really big fan of that. Um, reversible magazine release, so I guess one thing about Springfield normally is that they can they, work from both sides. This yeah. one I have a feeling just based on size. They didn't have enough room for any extra, so. Did, uh, did but you, it is reversible. Did you mention no grip safety? No grip safety on there. Um, it does have a very nice, they call it, an, what do they call it? The advanced texture? Something like an advanced texture or an yeah. ad adaptive texture. Adaptive texturing, um, which I thought it's a polymer. How is it adaptive? But it is really actually kind of a neat deal. So there's a bunch of peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. And on, they have, I guess, basically think long and short. You have a video. Hey. You have a video from. Phil's yeah. right. We got the video. Let's jump to the video. That's and uh, that way it does the most of the nerdy stuff for us. And we get it right. In 25 years of police work, I have never once intervened in a rape. I've never once intervened in a home invasion. I've never once intervened in a robbery. It's very rare that law enforcement actually intervenes in that type of crime. Law enforcement is almost always traditionally reactive. You know, you have to, in those first moments, be able to take care of yourself. For the last several years, We've been deeply entrenched in the research and development of the definitive solution for everyday carry and personal protection. The result is a handgun that exemplifies our disciplined approach to modern firearms design. On behalf of Springfield Armory, I am extremely proud to finally introduce the Hellcat, the highest capacity micro-compact 9mm in the world. Every single feature of this pistol was designed to maximize its use as a concealed carry handgun. Every feature of this gun was purpose built. The Hellcat has a patented 11 round capacity magazine. The Hellcat comes with two magazines, an 11 and a 13 rounder. One thing we at Springfield Armory were never going to do was trade reliability for capacity. If you're carrying a gun for self-defense, it's got to work. It's got to work every single time. Every single time you take that pistol out of your holster, you know it is going to work. And in testing it and firing tens of thousands of rounds without a malfunction, we achieve that reliability standard that we were looking for. So for the first time, you can have ultimate capacity and unrelenting reliability. The Hellcat is also available in an OSP configuration. The Hellcat OSP comes milled and ready for today's smallest micro red dots. And it allows it to still be a viable concealed carry gun, but still carry the advantage of an optical sight. Everybody shoots better with an optical sight. Your eyes never, ever come off the target. In a high stress situation, all you're doing is you're putting the red dot on the target and pulling the trigger. We spent a lot of time on the adaptive grip texturing. The adaptive grip texturing on the Hellcat is actually pressure activated. The first layer of the grip texturing is smooth when you run your hands over it. If you look at it under a magnifying glass, look at the tops, they're actually flattened off. So it's great when you're carrying it concealed. It doesn't catch on your clothing. It won't press uncomfortably against your skin. Yet when you grip it tightly, it locks into your hands so it won't move. 
Hellcat's an inch wide, it's four inches tall, and it's six inches long. The rear sight is a white outline U rear notch, and the front sight is a tritium with an luminescent ring around that tritium dot. The Hellcat comes with a non-proprietary accessory rail for mounting lights and lasers. The gun also has a high extended beaver tail. It prevents slide bite from shooters that have bigger hands. The barrel and the slider are melanite finished inside and out. It also has a reversible mag release. Some guns will go out of battery if you press the muzzle of the gun up against the target. Hellcat features a standoff device that prevents that from happening. In a defensive scenario, you need every advantage on your side. What you're getting is highest capacity, the best feeling, best trigger, most reliable, best sighted compact carry pistol ever made. The Hellcat is designed to empower and instill confidence in your daily life and give you the capacity. The capacity. The capacity to defend. On the original poster. Hey! Pew, so, pew. We're back. so, um, I don't know, like I said, it, the advanced polymer grip thing, I couldn't they have just simplified it and then we would know how to hold it? Just go with what we know. Grip zone. Give me a grip zone. <laughs> and then you know how to hold grip it. Grip zone on there. And then it's like, oh, he, my he, hand goes here. He did steal that idea, by the way, from... Um, well, Workman did say... Workman, it, so yeah. Oh, yeah, but it, it's... Good I job. Mean, it's no grip zone, but it... If it doesn't it say grip zone, how do I know how to hold it? And like that whole... I'm excited to see the gun. We'll definitely yeah. we'll put one on the range for sure. They really um, wanted, like a lot of the weird stuff that you wouldn't think they were listening. That Springfield did listen on this one. Flat mm -hmm. triggers have been coming all the rage. Uh, a lot of people like them. So that already having that from the get go, I think is a really smart option. That standoff thingy that they have on the front of it. Um, really, really neat. I know that there was a couple of companies that were building things that you attach to the bottom of your gun and attach to the front of the gun. And ultimately, when you put a, a typical gun up against something, the slide is going to kick back out of battery and render the gun useless, basically. Right. Uh, and this Hellcat has a little thingy off the front. Now, I don't know how much that's going to, like, is that only going to work if you push it up against a wall? don't know of any occasion at all where you put your gun up against a wall. But maybe it works for other things. So uh, hopefully we'll have one here. Well, and yeah, we can I, I can, I can tell you one right now. On. The professional. The hitman where the guy was looking through the peephole and he had the gun pressed right up against the peephole. So there's one example for you. Just saying. Um, do you know that that's actually a movie? Yeah, but all 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 the shit they do in the all the stuff they do in the movies is real. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can we do a contact shot through people on Oh, that's a great Ooh. idea. Contact I, shot. Well, wait a minute though. If we do a contact shot in a match, you're gonna be shooting our stage props, and that's a stage DQ. So no, we won't be able to. We might be able to do something really similar. Fast. Yeah, very right. <laughs> DQ, next. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like one I'm, of the. I'll tell you one of the stages. I don't know how we got here all of a sudden. I don't know, but let's keep going with it because I like. So one of the cool things that shooting I, one of the matches that we did is when we had to actually use the shield, shoot around the shield. Yeah. I don't think you were here for that. We need to do that one again. I may not have been working here, but. I think I've oh, shot you, that, did you shoot that? that stage? Or you had to carry the yeah, we, we shot a couple shoot. Of, like the riot shield. Yep, the yep. riot shield. Yep, I said that. That one. was fun. That was, was a ton of fun. That was awesome. Uh, Dustin and I got some some tricks for working up our sleeve. I'm sure uh, you do, and I'm, and I'm nervous we about. We just it. came up with another little thing, and I brought in another piece to that puzzle. So we'll have some some moving things hey, that are. Somebody's uh, gonna have to fill me in because I didn't. I've been on the floor and we've been working, but yes, we now have range friendly. Shut up! I know about that. Oh, okay. Um, apparently there was a bill read today where they named specific firearms that would be banned. Does anybody hear about this? Read about this? I, yeah, I, I we, didn't. I no, one it. of our customers came in and he's like, they named Colt and Smith the M and P fifteen and Daniel Defense and. Just went through a whole list of firearms that would now, be there was illegal. A, there was at one point 
I who knows list something about that? Guns that was something along the lines of like 300 and something guns, and this is not brand new though. This is a little while ago. I want to say Pelosi had put it out. You probably don't want that magnet too close to basically, your phone. Basically, why? Am I just basic? Uh, yeah, I think you're crazy. But anyway, uh, basically, what magnet screws everything. On? Let's see. So. Let's see. I don't think so. Um, everything that you want for guns is pretty much banned by that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've got the Ruger 1022 listed in that. Yeah. Um, if it is the same <laughs> art, the same listing of guns that I, I thought before. Who the 1022? The uh, yeah. If you put a, if you had to put Henry a Henry survival rifle, technically illegal because it's takedown. Yeah. So so it's uh, there was another video out there of one of our illustrious politicians saying that. She had held an AR-15, and oh, yeah. it's as heavy it's as, as heavy as ten, ten box, boxes, ten moving shoots boxes, a, and shoots, shoots a fifty-caliber caliber round bullet. bullet. Yeah, she doesn't know the word round, and there's no reason for civilians to have act. So in my brain, I'm like, all right, I might give her the benefit of the doubt and say she held a Barrett. And she's calling it an AR-15, which is the weight of which like sounds 10 books, like, like more that. like what she was talking about, right? Yeah, I mean, and in all reality, the Barrett is not a light gun at all. No, right? it does weigh a lot. It's brutally heavy. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's not what most people are going to. But carry. that's not the word she um, used. She used AR-15. Yeah, so evil she, black rifle. Yeah, so she was really. Thing. And it's just, just I just don't understand how, I don't know, it's, it seems very hypocritical to say we're going to regulate this when they really don't know what they're talking about, right? It's like, yeah, it's, you know, if you identify as a doctor, here's your certificate, you are now a doctor. Well, we'll be careful what you say there because so like, the whole you side now have the that, right to. But that whole side also believes that you are what you identify are. So if you identify as I, a doctor, you are a doctor. I identify as a billionaire. Right. So you where's, are a billionaire. It? Well where's done. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> yeah, can I borrow some money? Yeah. That's neat, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not like so, five grand. Yeah. I mean, for a billionaire, that's nothing. Sam, if I was a billionaire and you only asked me for $5,000, I would be very disappointed. <laughs> you are a billionaire. You just said you identify as a billionaire, so therefore you are. And she says she identifies as my daughter, so go wash my truck. <laughs> if it's for 5K, I'm down. I'll, it's for 5K. I'll do it. What? I'll wax it. Hey, what were we Actually, supposed to talk about today? Hey, somebody. Wax it. Is this um, what? Yeah, I mean, it's so anyway, basically, this is my excitement right there. And that's awesome. This, and then awesome, the awesome, awesome. Um, and then... Clock days! Glock days. Stand up. Speaking of which. Stand up. Guys. It's Wednesday too. If, yeah, Wednesday. Uh, don't forget Ladies Day. So if <sighs> you come in as a lady uh, or identify as a lady. I can't unsee dress this. dress like a lady. Um, it doesn't really matter. But come in. You get your lane for free. Um, ladies shoot If you bring a dude with you, it's five bucks. And he decides that he wants to be a lady for the day. Because um, we're just. Stop it. Yeah, I mean, just, you can even do that's like, just how we roll. It doesn't matter, right? And don't forget, guys. Sweet little kilt, by the way. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no! <laughs> there you are, buddy. This is great. Check it out. Glock socks. You can get your own Glock socks during Glock days this weekend. Did he really Friday, just Saturday stand on? He, he really just stood on a chair I did. in a skirt For and hiked his leg in front of me. It is not a. Skirt. It is a kilt. Thank you very much. Oh my no, God! Don't make it a skirt unless you're in a match that's not acceptable. So. Oh, it was great. So Glock days this Glock weekend days for this sure. Weekend. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, Chris has better calves than most athletes. Well, I is an athlete <laughs> or once was. He's an athletic uh, supporter. Ah. <laughs> Love you, dude. Kilt it. Who said that? Dave. Work. <laughs> Robert needs to have a That's tactic awesome. kilt. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Just saying. So, Although, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Proper does get the rep on that, so, by the way, I don't know if you all can see that. But I, I do have to give it to him. On there. Chris does wear the kilt well. 
part of it is he just friggin' owns it, right? He didn't like tiptoe in and hope nobody sees him. Oh no! He like came dancing into the N store I this didn't morning. Dance. Looking I at me, floated? when you when I'm you were walking you. down the hall and I saw you in that kilt, you were looking at me like, I dare you to friggin' say something. Uh, he probably, uh, he front, yeah. Right? Yeah. So you wear it well. And, I um, mean, you know. But don't worry. And I've been on the, uh, on the floor this morning and got plenty of attaboys. And he got three numbers from our guests today. Three phone numbers. Oh, no, that was Shelton. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I did <laughs> log in three guys. If that's what you mean, but uh, you know. So that's, anyway, that's different, though. We're just logging them in. I did get multiple compliments. Let's talk about Glock days now. So yes, Glock Friday, days. Saturday, Sunday. Come in, shoot a Glock on us. We'll give yep. you what five, ten rounds. You got three, three gun, up to three guns, ten rounds per gun, so thirty rounds. Thirty rounds. Yeah. Who approved that? Anyway, so. And then um, if you'll do that, and that doesn't cost you anything, right? Doesn't cost you anything. Just and you'll get a, a ticket. Time. And you'll get a ticket entered into the drawing. We're giving away a Glock 19 Gen 4. 5. Gen 5. It's a 5. Gen 5, Glock 19 at 4 o'clock. We're going to do a drawing on, on Sunday. Saturday. You're drawing on Saturday? Yes, I wanted to do it on Saturday. So people that come in on Sunday don't qualify? They get to still shoot the Glocks. She's not looking at me. My daughter will not look me but, in the eye. So that Sam and me. I will both be here on Saturday. I'm not like guys. So that's, that's well. Let's all so, weekend. Let's talk about that offline because I would like to give our Sunday shooters an opportunity to win. So I could come in Friday and shoot, Saturday and shoot, Sunday and shoot, and get three tickets. Why don't you just give them another? We we'll give away one on Saturday and one on Sunday. You're such a great guy. Do let's do it. Wow. You saw it Did right we here. Agree to that publicly? Yep. Yep. 4 p.m. on Saturday and 4 p.m. on Sunday. So all you but guys it's came a, in and, and it'll be a new drawing on Sunday. What? Yeah, and we're kind of no. thinking through this. So we just use the same tickets. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you get double the chances. So yep. all you, now, block days started early for some. Uh, so members, members, uh, all members, members you do get it right now. One, uh, come in, get a free ticket. Uh, all lifetime members come in, you get extra tickets. Uh, Bye. Anybody that does shoot a Glock, and we got free rentals on Glocks all the way through Sunday. Um, free rentals on Glock, come in, run a Glock, shoot one, get a ticket. Free and ticket. that is for every single day. So you can come in every day. As a member, you get one. Friday, Saturday, you come Sunday. come shoot today, you get another ticket for Members the starts chance. now, right. Yeah, members are all, members get one anyway. Yep. Then you come in and shoot one today, shoot a Glock today, you get a ticket. Tomorrow you get a ticket, Friday you get a ticket, Saturday you get a ticket. We'll attempt to draw your number on then. And if you didn't get drawn then, stay tuned because Sunday get a like ticket. Sunday we get another one. We'll give away so another one. Come block. in again on Sunday, shoot another one. Maybe and instead of a 19, we should give away a 48 or a I mean, I mean there is the option we could give them a choice on So what they want. put on the video. Put it put in the what do you gun. think we should give away? Tell us what the second giveaway gun yeah. should be. And don't put Mark 19 or Hellcat. It's got to be a Glock. Or, I mean. That is obtainable. <laughs> what gl what Glock, or 18, yeah, right. Uh, tell us what Glock you think we should give away on Sunday. Because we're going to give away a 19 Gen 5 on Saturday. What do you think the Glock should be that we give away Ooh, on Monday? That? Is, that, is that new? Did um, we just acquire this? Yeah. So there's a sneaky little <laughs> elf that just showed up on the side. I think we should put that on the range and put a gig switch in it. Because then you can do HK cool softy things. But well, I guess is it still considered? So, is it so still this, considered? Geez, this is so this is a PTR. 9C, right? Magical gun fairy. Ready on the to side put a can Doesn't on want it. to be seen. <laughs> yeah. Try lug. So is it hard case? Is it still considered sling? Doing HK slappy things if it's not actually an HK. Because the coolest part about this platform is when you go to load it, and then being able to literally just smack it. Yep. Like yep. HK slappy things. Yep. That's the coolest part about the platform. And you can write in lipstick on a napkin for your bad for your bad friends to see. I have a machine gun now. Send it down to the elevator. Anyway, if you figured that one out. So let's finish Glock Days, and then I'm going to come back to this. Clock. 
So we can't give that away. Just as a um, we can't give that one. We're going to have clock all clock. of our Glock firearms are going to be ten percent off. What are you doing? Twenty percent off on the Glock night sights. Yep. Twenty five percent off. Twenty five percent off on Glock night sights. If you buy a Glock, you'll get ten percent off the other accessories that you want to get. Um, and yeah, memberships we're going to have. If you buy a Glock, you can get a membership for twenty percent off. Right. Twenty. You get a class off. for twenty percent off. Yep. And you'll get five tickets for the drawing if you buy a Glock. Five extra tickets, which hopefully you test yep. shot it beforehand. So there's one. So and you remember, one. there's one. So you remember, in the test shots, and, and you buy a Glock. Buy a Glock that's seven so opportunities. And if you one. do that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's 21 chances. Oh, you mean buy Glocks every day, too? Uh -huh. Why not? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So make sure you're here for Glock days. We're gonna have our Glock reps gonna be here. When, when's the Glock days. rep here? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Glock both? rep is here on Friday all day and Saturday. He's he, totally skipping out on us. I think he's only here until one or two. Well, bring on your Saturday. gun. He'll uh, bring he'll, your gun in. He'll, he'll, he'll look at your gun. Check it, yep. out, check it over. Uh, don't, when he's gone. We'll look at it for don't you. Don't bring him your Sig. Bring him your Glock. Yeah, he only does the Glock things. Yeah, he's a good guy and uh, yeah. awesome guy. Knows a lot of cool stuff. All right. Oh, did I mention we got swag? Sam went and spent like two grand. I six, Ron asked me Ooh. if I had any box swag the other day. I did I all like the swag. Six boxes in my office. Yeah, we have. Get your finger off the trigger, you fool. I just pulled the trigger. I had to, to have my finger on the trigger. Socks to and we even shirts, have jewelry socks, for the ladies. Jewelry. Um, uh, beer your beer pump cups. cups. We've got mugs, trays, trauma, trauma, trauma like trays. all kinds of stuff. Same went whole wild crazy. Sort of like eighteen hundred dollars worth of swaggy <sighs> stuff. So Sweet. We got all kinds of good stuff. So um, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. So we got all kinds of fun stuff going on. You guys enjoy yourselves. I will be at a wedding in Indiana. <whistles> yep. That's not even a fun drive yeah, I have to drive across. It's like well, four and a half hours. You can totally make it back across. No, days. it's actually about nine hours because I go down through Kentucky and around and then back up because I'm not driving through Illinois. But you could drive through Illinois. <laughs> Why? Why would you double your time for I, that? I refuse. Just get gas before you get to Illinois and then get gas once you're out of Illinois. It's the only thing. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Then you the just whole state smells weird. No, no, not the whole state. I grew up in Decatur. Decatur smells weird. No, the southern half of Illinois <laughs> smells. Like I have been, it smells disgusting. Yeah, well, but the southern you're, half you're it's, a, it's a good state. I love I Illinois. Stinks, but it's a good state. I just stink. wish it's they would get their stuff together. Nothing but minerals and funk. What the heck is going on? If you on go up here? north, then you get into that Chicago funk, and I don't know what that is. What are you, are you breaking stuff? Funk Apparently. The entire state. There it is. Yeah. It's, by the way, with this platform, you really it's tough to see. A magazine on a closed bolt. So, it's like impossible. Well, no, it's just it's tough. So yeah, yeah. the way to do that is lock the bolt to the rear, drop your mag, insert a mag, HK slappy thing, and then you're back. That's cool. So lots of fun. Come see um, us for Glock days. This one's at library, like brand new, and I think this is going up for fifteen ish. Brand, brand new. Those are selling for like two grand. Two G's. Yeah. Really not. Nice. That I don't won't know last how many long. This somebody in here will. So. Somebody in here will buy that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Comes with two mags, a sling, yeah, it, a hard dual case. Wielding. Ooh. Yeah. Dual wielding, or you can go this way. Oh, just not. What? That that release is silly. That mag release right here. The AK style mag release. No, you know this has got two. You got one oh, here, it does. Yeah. And then one here. Yeah. So this little guy, he works easy. So what's the thought process for doing it there? I think he. Did, I think they just saw Eugene Stoner came up with such a great idea of that ergonomics, <laughs> and they were like, "We're going to do the same thing," but it doesn't work. And they're like, "No, nah, you know what? We'll still keep it. Just put another flappy thing on the bottom." Flappy thing. I don't know. You they're got any comments? Like, hey, a little bit of AK, a little bit of AR. No comments on what they want the. Second okay. uh, block to be. Well, first he just said small block, and then I made him specify. 
small block, four, there's a 48, there's a 43X, there's a 43, there's a 42, there's two tones, there's some solid blacks. Who's going to make a decision? I don't know. Not me or Chris. We can't even pick lunch. True. Very true. Ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, okay. What else we got? We got what else we, we got something else fun. What was it? Always check us out for classes. Yep. Phil's teaching classes all the time. Um, I can't look at that picture. Oh, customer appreciation. Laugh October. At my screen. Yeah. That's my screensaver. Yes, it is Cam looking all in his American yeah, glory. Some fancy photographer took her, his photo like that. Uh, something was it? I think it's Davis. Davis. Davis photography. Oh, she's Ukrainian. <laughs> Davis. Davis. Uh, yeah. Anyway, fun stuff. Uh, ooh, we have Customer Appreciation Day coming up. October. We're down to like three weeks or so. Um, so we will start Golly. the big push for That's awesome. food donations starting on Monday. Remember, it is going to be food and other household goods that would be needed by people that don't have all the goods they need. Things like dish soap, hand Tooth soap, toothpaste, toothpaste, yep. uh, toothbrushes, shampoo, uh, yep. body soap. Like, if you need it in your home on a monthly basis. Canned goods? All people's need it. Is it, food-wise, um, is it canned food goods? Food-wise, no box non items. non-perishables. Yep. Okay. Um, so, boxes are okay. Oh. Okay. Cans are okay, um, it's, but it's non-perishables is what they're asking And who's for. the charity that we're raising for? It is the Jefferson Barracks Food Pantry. And nice. again, um, we're going to have them on within the next couple of weeks uh, for a live awesome. show, which That's would be awesome. even more cool to get her in here. But There's a really, um, you were talking about them. I hadn't even heard yeah. about them. Super really, cool history. Yeah. Yeah. Local company. They just handle local stuff. They're open one, two days a month. One day is for veterans only. One day is for active duty only. Um, and so I believe Super it cool. might be the reverse of that. I think active duty goes first and then, yeah. but nonetheless, um, I guess, oh, they've, they've always been around. They've had donations, but it started to get kind of thin over the past summer. So let's, let's our them goal up. is to over flood them. Um, and so that they have problems. And so how if many they come out with a thing that says, hey, we don't need donations for a minute, that would be awesome. I don't think we'll find do a that, place. Yeah. We're yeah. going to, we're going to, we'll take care of do our best to, to try. And so how many pounds that. did we raise last year, Phil? Do you remember? 42 and some change, 41 and some change. So our like goal is 4,000. So this so we year, wanna, we want to, we want 6,000 pounds. We want 5K. I got to get people that think bigger around here. <laughs> 10K, I like it. 10K. Let's do 10,000 pounds. We're gonna do some, we we're gonna do some cool dollar. stuff. Ron says he's gonna give away a whole bunch of pistols next month too. We're to Ron to I guess since stuff. I'm a billionaire, Ron I can do that now. He's a billionaire now, <laughs> and he's just feeling super generous, so. We're gonna do some giveaways. We're gonna have a yeah. lot of fun. Customer Appreciation Day. There'll be free lanes, there'll be stuff going on that we're gonna recognize our vets and our I'm first responders. Away my Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. Phil. Phil getting angry. All right, 45 minutes. Are we, are we, are we, they're done listening to us. They're everybody's like, everybody's I'm checked out. Dave Workman to give me swag. And you already said he would. Workman talking. already said he was going to give us, a, he said something last time when we said we you know what? some defenders. Here's what we need. We need a corporate sponsor. We need some corporate sponsors to jump in with us for this food drive no. that we're gonna do for uh, Jefferson. So if you're a small cool. business owner, or if you're a CEO with a big company, if you've got some pull in there, let's talk. We'd love to have you partner with us to raise some awareness and raise some funds and raise some food and take care of these veterans and their families. One of the things Jefferson Barracks does, it's just totally awesome. It kind of got started because these women wanted to take care of the families of veterans who were serving yeah. or active duty or fallen. Well, they started they actually, to be taken it, care was, of, so. it was six women that started it because their significant others, I don't know if it was all women or, and all the men were gone or if there was some men, I'm not really sure. I just know there were six people that started it. 
because their spouses were deployed um, and they were trying to get things together and noticed that there was other people that didn't have enough. Yep, that weren't being um, taken care of. So I think it was it. Just they didn't have enough, and they wanted to know what can we do to help these people have enough. Yep. Um, and budgets just don't stretch like they used to. Um, I don't know if the military has gotten any kind of a substantial raise. I know it hasn't been really substantial. I know it did get a little bump a couple of years ago, but everything else let's is take care of more money. So let's, let's remember let's what's important. Let's figure out how you can help. Um, and if all you can help is to pull a couple of toilet papers aside, uh, yeah. you got to be individually wrapped, so it's still hygiene and all that good stuff. Foot but powder is that's a all you big can do, plus. <laughs> Awesome, man. Like, help out as much as you can. If all you can do is come in and offer a, a, a $1 bill towards it. Yeah, we'll take it. donations. They appreciate yep, it. Um, absolutely. Everything's going to get donated to them. And so. Good cause. That, and don't forget, we're getting ready to come in. I can't believe I'm saying this, that I'm thinking this far ahead. But we're getting ready to come into the holiday season. A lot of folks like to bring their team out and enjoy a private event with their employees or families. Yeah. Just get a hold of... Uh, Sam right yeah. now and start booking those because we're going to fill up as much as we're, we're, we're trying to make as much time as we can available so people can do that so yeah there's make also sure. so you shoot Sam an email s davis at davis the range davis at the range stl.com or go to our website tab yeah. down underneath there's an events tab and a fill in some information there. form that you can fill out shoots the email into me and Sam We'll get with you, and that Sweet. gives Sam all the basics she needs. She is going to call you. They're going to work through it. If there's stuff you're not sure, just put in there. Not sure yet. Um, you she's going to be. Work faster. Yeah. Um, if you tease her with snacks, she works very, very quickly. Uh, so otherwise, yeah. Recap: seven six two AK cheap stuff. Steel case uh, ammo, IWI massage. As long as steel case ammo is good, as long as the projectile does not take a magnet. Yes. No steel in the projectile, but steel case is good. Correct. Got one of. The, I think I've only got. I know two we have a, things we that have came a, in, but I think one of them. We have one member spoken for. Yeah. So we do have an IWI Masada. I believe there's word that we've got some of those. Help and I think we've in. got a PPK. Um, uh, Walther PPK on the way too. So really? in, we got a lot of other cool in stuff blue. in the used case too. We just oh, didn't pull yeah. it out. We've got uh, piston system D, uh, or piston ARs, Scar in 308. We got piston scars, Siren in 556. Totally done up. It's ready to rock. Uh, we have an MMP pistol that race pistol. Please somebody come by before I end up having to buy it as my backup gun. <laughs> um, we may have just sold it. I know Matt was just looking at it. I sent him downstairs. There was to shoot a P three twenty X in that use case, dude. That's gone. I yeah, said that, notice. That's I, not, that's notice. Gone, I said come there check was. It out, man. We got you never know what's going to be in that case. Yeah, got a Glock seventeen Ooh. in there. This is going to be in there. Um, again, this is like fifteen hundred bones. We got it. So we got a Glock deal. seventeen in the case. We have Glock Use seventeen one? Gen five. So, what? Yep. We have three twenty Cs. We. We got all kinds of goodies in there. We got some cool uh, stuff in there. You know something that was oh, in there the other you know day? What else we didn't. Hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, we geez. almost forget it. We almost forget it. Running out of skirts. Take that in. You know what? You know what I should do is just end the show. <laughs> I almost forget it. I almost forget it. Oh, you can still hear him? Then run to the bathroom? I almost forget it. I almost forget it. Look. Oh, look, no. Look. I forgot. I almost forgot it. I can't believe we almost forgot. Look at what's still here. I don't know how it's still here, but it's still here. You want me to read, so, you want me to read this, this to everybody? This is the new MK10. The new CMMG guard chambered in 10, 10 millimeter. Mic. I'm so excited. So it comes with a SGM uh, mag, Look at that. 30 rounds. I love that. Yes, 30 rounds of 10 millimeter goodness running out of an 8 inch pew, pew. barreled uh, delayed radio blowback, amazing AR. Mm. Yes. So this one is outfitted, this is in the Banshee configuration as a pistol. So it's got the rip brace. Oh, 
It's got Magpul furniture. It's got the Ambi uh, selector. It's got the Ambi charging handle. It's got their Pimp Daddy muzzle brake on the end of it. This one is done in burnt bronze. Oh, I'm going to shoe stick. That thing is awesome. So awesome. So awesome. 10 millimeters. Yes. 10 millimeters. All the bigness. So, That's the baby. More fun stuff to come. Uh, we also got a nice. nine baby, mil. Version. Got a baby brother. We have and nine mil. Another yep. one of my babies on order, so he should be here pretty soon. The Mark Forty Seven. Yep. Pistol. Mark Forty Seven pistol. Um, we've actually, got we've got like a couple of them. Ten CMMG firearms. You can have a bouquet. So exciting. And we just got a nice yep. uh, bunch of parts kits. Nice shipment in of CMMG parts if you're doing yep. a build or want to upgrade your your which AR. Anybody that's into building, the CMMG kit is bar none is the best <clears throat> kit for building ARs. One of the best parts about their kits is their takedown and pivot pins. It's extended, but not like monstrous, nope. but just enough that you can yep. actually pop it with one yep. side, and it pops out enough that you can actually pull it from the other side. Well, this one's got that AccuWedge in there, but <clears throat> literally one finger on the side. Oh, so nice. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Mm. This I this one won't last through the weekend, but that's this is the new that's the new smoke and hotness, not hotness, smoke and hotness. All Ten millimeter. Hotness. Yeah. Ten mm. millimeter in an AR platform. Um, AR pistol platform. Yeah, and the beauty is in their delayed radial blowback, um, the gas system is null and void. So the pressure coming back actually unlocks the bolt first, then the bolt carrier can come back. So it absorbs a lot of that oomph from the recoil beforehand, before the bolt carrier even starts moving to the rear. The beauty in that is then you don't have to have a really stiff spring, a really heavy weight in the back. Uh, the whole platform then can be lighter in reciprocating mass and therefore still shoot soft but carry Sandy Nagel is watching. Tell her hi, right? Hey, now. Sandy! Hey, how are you? That's awesome. I saw that name pop. <clears throat> and I was like, hey, Man. hey, chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot, bye. That's for Sandy. She'll get it. I hope she gets it because <laughs> none of the rest of us had any clue. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sorry you had to listen to that, Sandy. We miss All you, other Sandy. People that have headphones. In. We miss you. and Hope you're feeling a lot better. So, yeah, Sandy took off on us. She's uh, moved on she to moved, bigger and better things, which is hard to um, hard to understand. But I well, get it. Well, yeah, I got two kids in college. And yeah, I get it. Like, yeah, I totally understand. So, all right, uh, wrap it up. It's been an hour. You yes. got stuff to do. Come in and play. We got all kinds please, of toys. Please, 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 um, please. Remember, it is Wednesday, so ladies shoot free today. Uh, Glock day is coming on this weekend, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, everybody gets to shoot some Glocks for free. Everybody. Uh, come in, get Give it away two Glocks. Range friendly ammo for your AK or your mutant. Check out the IWI. Um, check out the IWIs, the, IWIs, the PTRs, and all the other goodness. Go to training or uh, the range the range .com forward slash training to get a full list of all the classes that Phil is teaching all the time and come play. Yeah. You ready? Did I mention we have a 10 millimeter? I want to shoot that so bad. I'm ready. Let's go play. All right. I'm ready. Are you come ready? see us. Come see us.